Thank you for clicking to watch this short video. I really believe it was no coincidence you were meant to. Do. But please hear me out until the end so you can get the complete picture of what I want to say. Also, I would like to add that I understand how it feels to go through suicidal thoughts. I went through this a few times through my life growing up. And I feel the best way to speak about this topic is honestly, without holding anything back, because I believe only the clear truth can truly help us see things clearly and therefore make clear informed decisions and conquer suicidal thoughts and desires. So let me begin. I want to break this down in two parts. First, I want to discuss intentional suicide, and I'll explain what I mean by intentional in the second point I will make. But first, why I do believe that intentional suicide is a sin and the person will not be going to a better place that commits it. And please hear me out why. Firstly, because everyone's life is given by God. So if God is the author of your life, then only He has the authority to take it. Not you, not me or anyone else. Therefore, if anyone intentionally takes a life, including their own, it's equal to committing the act of murder. Secondly, suicide cannot be compared to other sins like stealing, etc. Because once it's done, there is no coming back, no second chance, no oops, I made a mistake, let me make it right. Because once it's done, it's too late. You ended your life on earth. Let me say this again another way. Your life was not created by you, nor was it given by you. It belongs to God, so you do not have the right to terminate it. Just like you do not have the right to terminate anyone else's life. Because as we know, that would be murder. Our lives are given by God. And since it was given by God, He makes the rules. And it only belongs to God to take when He decides. Only He is justified to do so. And anyone else that intentionally does this is committing murder, including if it is you. So what do I mean by intentionally? Intentional suicide and unintentional suicide. So I'll give you a couple of important instances where I believe it's not considered suicide by God. Here's one of the instances. If the person is under the influence of psychiatric drugs, which are actually dangerously famous for causing countless suicides. In fact, even with a certain psychiatric drugs, it is even written in the instructions and side effects list found inside the packets, blatantly admitting that suicide is one of the so-called side effects. Which is crazy because a side effect usually is pimples or a headache or a, you know itching, different things like this. but they allow these drugs to be given where it blatantly admits that it could cause people to have thoughts of death and suicidal thoughts and yet they still give it to people so a person is given psychiatric drugs for depression let's say and the drugs themselves are causing even more negative thoughts to the person like suicidal ones and please do not be tricked if you do have these packets sometimes they use complex words on purpose which mean suicidal thoughts, which mean thoughts of death, but because they changed the wording and put more complex words that we wouldn't, everyday person wouldn't understand if they just read the packet, then we think that it's not actually on the packet, but it actually is listed as one of the side effects. They've just been getting smarter in how they're doing these things because they get a lot of money for each client that they have with using psychiatric drugs. Another instance where it's not considered suicide in God's eyes is if the person is influenced by other illegal drugs and therefore the person was not in their right state of mind if suicide occurred. So maybe they took like an acid trip or there's different drugs that actually cause illusions. Um, and there's people that actually have taken drugs where they had a bad encounter with the drug. They didn't intend to, they didn't think it would happen, but it happened. And they jumped off buildings, off balconies, they ran into traffic different things like this because of what was going on in their mind um, as they took this uh, illegal drug. So this was not intentional and if they were not on drugs, they would not have committed suicide. And they were not planning that night to take some drugs so they can have some bad thoughts so they can actually go and commit suicide. So all of this was not a planned thing. It was because of influence of the illegal drugs. And the last instance that I know of is it's not seen as a suicide in God's eyes if the person is influenced by a demon or a spirit. So they have demonic possession, it's called. So they're hearing voices and things like this. The torture from those voices and always tormenting them, speaking to them, they end up committing suicide. This is, again, something that they would have not done if those voices were not there. It is also not their fault because 
the medical field, the big pharma, has trained the doctors and trained psychiatrists, psychologists, everyone to not accept anything that is not seen in the physical. So they reject anything spiritual and therefore they try to drug up someone that actually just needs deliverance, needs an exorcism to remove a demon from within them. And that's why they're actually hearing voices. But they're told they're crazy and they're just it's just in their mind, it's just in their head that they're hearing these voices, but it's not. It's actually a spirit speaking to them and they just need a minister, a Christian minister to deliver them. So again, to be clear, I don't biblically see that God looks at an unintentional suicide the same as murder of oneself because they were not truly in their right state of mind and were not going to commit suicide if they were not influenced by a drug or an evil spirit possessing them. Another important thing to note that I really need to bring up about suicide is the popular belief that suicide will end the suffering. Suicide will not end the suffering as many have been deceived into believing through the years. We are eternal beings and when one leaves their body, they will continue living in eternity, either in heaven or hell. But for those who intentionally and knowingly commit suicide, which is murder, the Bible makes it clear that this person will go to hell, where the Bible mentions that there is fire that will never go out and such torment that would make any bad season of suffering and struggle on the earth feel like it was actually not that bad in comparison to being trapped forever in this place of torment. I know it sounds harsh, I know it sounds strong, but this is the reality, this is the fact. Many people have had after-death experiences where they were brought back by the doctors and say the same things. These are people from atheists to many different other beliefs saying that they saw a place of fire, that they were there, that they felt the pain, they started screaming, different things. And they were saying the same things, not because they were influenced by some biblical story before they passed away, before they were dead, because many of them were atheists that say these things. So a place of darkness, and it just goes on and on and on. I know it sounds scary, but it's good to hear some of these guys. And on the website that I'm gonna say at the end, there is a section where you can go where people have claimed to have seen, to have had after-death experiences. We're talking about documented after-death experiences where they have the documents to show that they were in that accident, they did die for a specific amount of time, they were brought back. So there's no, it's not hearsay, it's not some theory, it's not just a made-up story. These are factual things that happened. And they say the story of what they saw. So in saying that, I'm not trying to scare you, I'm just trying to tell you don't be deceived by the lie that thinking that this is going to end your suffering. Yes, there will always be good and bad seasons in our lives. We all go through them. And yes, some worse than others. But the tough times will pass. They always do. They will not remain. So please don't give up on you. Yes, at times Satan will shoot thoughts in your mind to entertain the option of suicide during your difficult times, making you feel that these times will not end. He will lie to you to try to convince you that suicide will end your suffering. That you will finally be at peace or be in a better place if you intentionally commit suicide. But he's a liar. He is conning you, trying to convince you to willingly commit murder of self so he can steal your future, your life, and so he can ultimately lead you to hell. He's the one who leads people to hell. It is not God. Why? Because he hates you. He hates me. He hates your life because you are made in the image of God. So yes, we have an enemy, Satan, and his demons, who will come against us in life. It happens to us all. But God is more powerful and he loves you and is for you. He will get you through. You are not alone. This will pass. So please talk to God in prayer and you will become stronger. Reach out to others and seek for help. Speak to someone during the difficult times and this will truly help you so much. You are precious and you are loved. And even if it doesn't feel like it at the moment, because of what's going on in your life, because of the circumstances or the, those around you not giving you love, just know that this season will pass in time. Another season will come. New people will come in your life which will love you and care about you. And you'll actually be a stronger you because you didn't give up when things got hard. And because you'll be stronger, when you see someone else struggling with thoughts that you were struggling with as well, you will be able to lift them up and tell them the truth and strengthen them so they can keep going and not give up. I hope this helped you. And 
to get even more encouragement and more help, go to www.lookintoit.com and hear other people's stories who also had desires to commit suicide but did not and check out the encouraging messages they have for you. Thank you again for watching. Please share it if it helped you so we can help others too.